Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode, I'll talk about my seed collection. These are the seeds that have grown in the past and those that I'm growing in this season and those that I've saved from my plants in the past seasons. Welcome and please remember to subscribe to this channel. So in, I store my seeds in this basket and we'll go through all of them one by one. So my first seed is this Swiss chard. Swiss chard, it's uh, from the Stack IS. This is actually my favorite company, seed company, it's Stack IS. And I have this uh, Ford Oak Giant. This one, I'm growing it for the first time in this season, these green ones. Last season, I grew the rainbow ones. So my second seed is a uh, coriander. Coriander is uh, from Amiran, Amiran seeds. And I grew this, I have been growing this for the past like two, three seasons and I actually like it. It's a, it's a good one, it's a multi cut. You can cut and it grows again and I like it for that. And the other one is a uh, Rio Grande tomatoes. This is still from Stack IS. Growing this in this season for the first time and just starting the seeds. Mm -hmm. The next one is a hybrid watermelon. Hybrid watermelon. Growing this for the first time in this season. And next is uh, these uh, bush beans. I grew this towards the end of last season. It did very, very well, and I'm still also growing it in this current season. The next one is sweet melon. Health best. It's also a stack eyes. It's a stack eyes sweet melon. Growing this one for the first time this season. Next is green peas. The name, the name disappeared. But it's a green peas stack eyes, and uh, I've grown this last season. Did very very well. Growing this again in this season. The next one is a. Uh, Baby leaf, baby leaf mix. It's a mix of uh, baby lettuce. These ones are the um, loose leaf lettuce. They don't form a cabbage. They just remain like leaves. And I grew this in the last season. It did extremely well, and I'm still growing it again in this season. The next seed is uh, carnations. These are flowers. I don't grow lots of flowers, but I'm growing this for the first time in this season. They have actually germinated, and I'll be transplanting them soon. And next is uh, carrots. I haven't grown carrots. Uh, last season I didn't grow carrots. They are from Vuna Seeds. I believe this is a local company. I haven't tried them for anything else. It's my first seed, uh, my first seed packet from Vuna Seeds. I'll be back with a review of whether they do well or not. I'll be growing this one in my containers, my containers this season. Uh, next is a uh, radish. Cherry Bell Radish from Continental Seeds. It's a very good one. I grew this last season. I'm growing it again and I'll still grow it again. It grows very, very fast. Just two weeks and you harvest. So I like these, these seeds, Continental Seeds Radish. It does very well. I, I'm growing it again. Next is uh, lettuce. This is a Great Lakes Lettuce. This one is the cabbage one. It forms like a cabbage. Grew this last season, growing it once again. I like it. This East African seed. It's an East African seed. This is a zucchini from uh, Stack IS. It's my first time growing this. It's already planted now on the ground. I'll be back with a review whether it does well, but I believe Stack IS. I have planted them for a while and I'm not the, I've not been disappointed by this brand. Uh, next is a uh, garden mix herbs from Stack IS. Grew them last season, growing them once again. Very nice. I like them. Uh, the next is similar seeds, probably the only similar seeds I have. And that's cucumber ashri. Grew this last season, growing it again, and I was impressed. Next is a squash roller. I don't believe this one does well in my climate. I grew it last season, didn't pick up. I have some on the ground. I hope they do this time, but uh, I wasn't impressed by 
This one I don't believe I'm going to be buying it again. Next is a kale. This is Altravetis. I haven't had much of it, but I grew this kale last season. It did very, very well. I'll attach a photo of how it looked and it's a very nice seed. I'll grow this one again this season. The next is Mustard Spinach from Stack Eyes. It is a Florida broadleaf. Growing this for the first time, it's a new entry. The next is a rapeseed. I grew this towards the end of last season and I loved it. I'm also growing it again. It's uh, like a kale. It comes up like sukumawiki, but it's softer and very tasty. And the other seeds are this pack. I got it from the UK. This uh, asparagus. I have a few plants. I grew about four. You don't need a lot of it, especially if you don't have space like me. This is uh, asparagus. Takes about two years to start harvesting. I have already started like five, five of them. Yeah. Yeah, this is all for my bot seeds. The, the rest are the seeds I've saved from my garden and the last season. So this pack has local pumpkins. The normal pumpkins that we grow, I saved some seeds for that. Uh, the next is uh, saga, spider plant, sageti, whatever. I saved these uh, in September 2020. This is loose leaf lettuce. If you've watched my seed saving, seed saving video, you see how I saved my lettuce seeds. Uh, saved on uh, September. French marigolds, these are flowers. I had a very good crop of this last season, so I saved some seeds. This is basil, lots of it. I have saved a lot of basil this season. Next is dandelion seeds, uh, also saved. Dandelion, some people call it wild lettuce, but uh, it's dandelion. Next I have managu, we have two types of managu, the small leaf, but this is the broad leaf, the ones, I think it's an hybrid or something. I saved some seeds from that. Then we have colored lettuce, this is the purple lettuce, also grew this last season. Sweet corn, sweet corn, I have some few seeds saved in October. Then I have more French marigolds. Peppers, I grew some peppers, these are mixed. We have habaneros, we have alapinos, we have a cayenne pepper, we have, it's a mix of many, many peppers that I grew. Next is white onions. This was the Texas oregano. Texas oregano onions, white onions. I saved some seeds from that. And next is, uh, Cherry tomatoes, we had a bumper harvest of tomatoes last season and I managed to save some cherries. So this one is uh, random cherry tomatoes. I mixed several, I had about five different varieties of cherry tomatoes and I saved some seeds. Next is a uh, popo. This is the red popo, the red flesh popo. I managed to save some seeds also for that. I don't think I'll be growing this in my garden, but Probably I'll take it up country and grow some popo there. And finally, I have this. This is kunde. I grew it for the leaves and I saved some seeds. That's all for my seed collection. I hope you enjoyed watching my collection. Always remember, if you have a vision, add some passion. Goodbye.